Hello everyone and welcome back to a very long overdue Star Wars figure review. First and foremost, I want to apologise for my prolonged absence from YouTube. Uh, for those of you that have been following me for any amount of time, you'll know that back in the day I used to post these videos quite frequently. However, for the past 18 months, I've been, as I said, absent from YouTube. And that's down to the cliche excuse of life being absolutely hectic. However, this time I really mean it because for the past 18 months I've been in the process of moving house, uh, renovating a house, planning a wedding, actually getting married, taking a honeymoon, and as I said, life has been hectic. But I'm back. I've got some brand new content to share with you guys. I can't wait to get back into the mix. And as you can see, there's been a bit of a change. Um, thanks to the house move, I do now have a room for my Star Wars collection. And if you've been following me on Instagram and here on YouTube via the community tab, then I've been trying to keep you guys in the loop with the collection room on its progress and all that sort of stuff. And rest assured, a collection tour is coming. Um, we're approaching the 10th anniversary of my last Star Wars collection update. So, uh, you know, perfect timing really. Um, and I really can't wait to share the collection with you. Um, it's been almost five years since a lot of this stuff has seen the light of day. It's been in storage for the most part. Um, so it's really nice to have it all back out on display again. And as I said, I can't wait to share that with you. So without further ado, let's jump right into some new Star Wars reviews. And we are going to kick things off by taking a look at some figures from the Vintage Collection. Now, if you're like me, you'll be absolutely thrilled that the Vintage Collection is back. And you'll be equally as thrilled to know that Hasbro are really putting in some uh, real effort with these figures. Uh, some of these character releases over the past few months have been superb. And we're going to kick off with, in my opinion, one of the most stellar figures that Hasbro have put out in years. And it is, of course, none other than the obscure but cult favourite in many ways. It is, of course, this guy. This is Yak Face. This is, without a doubt, one of my favourite vintage collection figures to be released ever. Um, obviously, we're in the second phase of the vintage collection now, um, with the line originally uh, beginning in 2010 and going on a bit of a hiatus in recent years, but it's back. And as I said, this is one of the best figures that Hasbro have put out in this range. Uh, there's a nice little bit of trivia to go along with this guy, and we'll jump into all of that in just a little bit. But before we do, as always, you know the drill by now, let's take a look at the packaging that he comes in. Now, again, Vintage Collection gets an instant seal of approval from me. Um, the Vintage cards are amongst my absolute favourite in the Star Wars lines that have been released over the years. Um, second only probably to the 30th anniversary collection which uh, despite not being as iconic as these vintage cards still holds a very special place in my heart. The vintage cards however look absolutely stunning as I've said in reviews in the past these define Star Wars collecting for me and a lot of other collectors and it's really cool to see these hanging on pegs in stores once again. With this particular card, as you can see, you've got the Return of the Jedi logo featured at the top, which looks very, very nice. You've got the Sail Marae, or Yak Face name tab, just below that, and of course an image of the character down below. I'm never quite sure how to pronounce his name. Is it Salt? Is it Salt? Is it Salt? Salt? I don't have a clue. Salt. Um, but yeah, <laughs> little TLJ nod there for you. Um, but yeah, uh, very cool image on the card and of course the Kenner logo down in the bottom corner. On the back of the card, nothing too spectacular going on, but you can see some of the other figures available in the Vintage Collection line. Some of these I've picked up, some of them I haven't, and some of these will be reviewed in the very near future. We'll be taking a look at the Klaatu Skiff Guard in my next review, so stay tuned for that. We'll also be taking a look at Emphis Nest at some point down the line. And I have added this Last Jedi Luke Skywalker to my carded collection of vintage collection figures. So you'll see that in my upcoming collection tour. So that is the packaging that Yak Face comes on. Really, really nice card. And I've got to admit, I'm really eager to pick up a second of these to keep mint on its card. Now, with regards to the packaging itself, this figure has actually been released in two different types of packaging. You've got this basic vintage card release here, and you've also got, um, as a pack-in with the Katana Sail Barge from Haslab, you've got the Power of the Force card as well, which features the coin and all that sort of stuff, which is a really, really nice piece. 
a little bit out of my price range. I know a lot of people were buying the sail barge and then selling the yak face figure on because they got no interest in it. God only knows why. Um, but it fetches a premium on uh, on eBay and on the secondary market almost as much as the sail barge itself. So that'll be uh, a grail piece for later on down the line. Probably when I win the lottery. But uh, there we go. Uh, very cool card. And again, uh, a worthy addition to the carded collection, which I aim to do in the near future. So let's jump into the figure itself. Now, first things first, you will notice I do have a small drinking glass in Yak Face's hand at the moment. Now, this isn't actually included with this version of the figure. However, if you picked up the sail barge um, and got the Power of the Force card variant, then he did include a drinking glass in that instance. So uh, it's not 100% inaccurate what I'm showing you right now, but uh, it wasn't included with this particular version, so just be aware of that. Um, if you do want to add this figure to your own collection, as always, you know the drill. Click the link in the video description or an ad should pop up on screen for you right about now where you can follow staractionfigures.co.uk and pick this guy and a ton of other vintage collection, Black Series and other Star Wars goodies up from there. So really, really nice figure. We'll run through the articulation of this guy first and then we'll touch base on some of the other details and accessories. So first things first, he comes packed with articulation. One of the really key things about the Vintage Collection is the fact that it does of course feature premium articulation. Uh, for the past few years, uh, the 3 and 3 quarter inch line has been, been plagued by five points of articulation, which don't get me wrong, I was never a massive hater of. I was a bit of a fan of the 5 POA line to be honest, but I am kind of happy to know that it's going to be, you know, it's going to cease to exist. Um, going forward with the Rise of Skywalker we'll only see figures from the Vintage Collection and in terms of other 3 and 3 quarter inch releases the only other figures going forward will be from the Retro Collection which is of course the Vintage uh, Reproduction line so uh, yeah really nice to know that Hasbro are going to concentrate on articulation once again so with this particular figure as I said you get an absolute ton of articulation with this guy you've got ball hinges and joints everywhere from the head right down to the ankles so in the head itself you do have a variety of different ball joints you've got a ball joint in the head with a joint also in the neck so that allows really fluid movement in the head itself but then there's also a ball joint down in the neck itself as well which really does offer if I can demonstrate this on camera some really really nice movement in the head as I said, you've got that that ball joint in the neck there, and then you've got this uh, ball joint in the head as well. It's a little bit difficult to show you on camera, but you get the idea. You've also got hinges at the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. So as you can see, you can get him in some really cool poses there. You do have a ball joint at the torso, ball hinges at the hips, a swivel at the upper thigh which is really nice to see you've got ball hinges in the knees and ball hinges at the ankles as well so again premium articulation with this figure you can get him in some really cool poses however I have found that this figure does need a display stand in order to stay upright and I don't think that's anything to do with the numerous alcoholic beverages that he's had on the sail barge but the less said about uh, Yak Face's drinking habits the better so really nice articulation and really, really nice detail to match as well with this guy. You've got some really nice paint applications on the head, some really nice weathering and detail that really adds depth to the character. You've got all those skin tones and textures going on which look really, really nice. You've got this really cool detail in his outfit as well. Nice faithful representation of what we see on screen. I love the colours on this one as well. Very vibrant, very cool. And that detail continues around the back. You've got this really nice soft goods, almost felt like material for the overcoat. And again, that detail continues down to the rest of the figure. Now, in terms of accessories, as I said, the uh, sail barge packing figure does come with a drinking glass. But this particular one just comes with the staff, which looks really nice. Very similar to some of the staffs we've seen with skiff guards and other figures from Jabba's Palace. But a really nice paint application on there. It looks rather rusty, 
very worn and very cool. Really nice weapon that one. Really nicely detailed as well. So all in all, a vital addition to the collection. As I said, um, perhaps less diehard Star Wars fans and collectors might not know who this guy is or may not be as familiar with him as some of the uh, original generation of Star Wars collectors were back in the 80s but uh, a really really cool figure and again if you've got a Jabba's Palace or a Jabba's Sail Barge collection or display going on this is a vital addition. Uh, we haven't had a Yak Face figure available in the 3 and 3 quarter inch line since 1997 I believe the last one was released. I know it was towards the latter stages of the Power of the Force line of the 90s um, which is a good figure still by today's standards in my opinion at least it's still a nice figure it's still one that I've got on display in my collection but uh, this one far surpasses it and again it's a, a great addition to the collection really happy to have this one and I highly highly recommend it so that is going to do it for my first review back I hope you've enjoyed it guys I will be back with some more very soon as I said, we're going to take a look at some more vintage collection figures next, and in my next review, we are going to take a look at the Klaatu Skiff Guard, another really cool figure from Jabba's Palace. There goes the drinking glass. Yak Face has had enough, and so have I. So I'm going to see you in my next review. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and until next time, as always, keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.